guys, it's Malon B or Malon from Facebook and Malon Shop and I wanted to make a video about how I ship my items or what I use for shipping etc. I know when I started out my shops I didn't really have much of an idea uh, about maybe the best ways to ship something um, other than you know just throwing it in a box or whatever <laughs> and then having it ship off but uh, so I just wanted to share a few of those with you. Uh, if you guys are not aware, I do have a couple of shops um, uh, via Etsy and also recently I have my own website as well where I, I sell um, the same items. Uh, my first shop is MalonBeeAtEtsy.com and that is where I sell amigurumis um, or um, knitted or crocheted uh, stuffed toys <laughs> and also some other miscellaneous like I do make some teenager and crochet pillows um, and just like small dec uh, decorations and stuff like that. So I will show you guys what I or how I ship those out and also um, I do have a second shop, uh, Malon Shop at Etsy.com and that is where I sell um, a lot of my yarn. I do dye yarn on my own and I also have some other miscellaneous um, yarn skeins from my stash. So I'll also um, <laughs> show you guys how I ship those out. And actually, let's start with that, with the yarn, because that's probably the easiest. Now for the yarn, uh, because it's not that bulky and you can pretty much, um, it'll, it will form into whatever container or what, whatever type of thing you want to mail it in, um, it's a lot easier to, to get ready for shipping. Um, what I use is these envelopes, and these are just some I got from Walmart. I'm sure you can get them in other mm. places. Uh, this small one, smaller one is eight and a half times eleven inches, and I find that these or that this size uh, it works pretty well uh, if I'm shipping off one skein. And let me show you an example of one of my hand dyed skeins. It's about this size, so it can definitely fold if you need it to, etc. And if I'm shipping more than one, uh, maybe two or three, or it just depends. Um, if the quantity is too many, uh, I will use a box. But if it's about two or three, I use the bigger size. And this is 10 and a half uh, by 15 inches. Again, you can, you can get these from Walmart. That's where I got them from. Uh, and I think they come in packs of five or packs of 10, something like that, if you want to I mean, I'll save some cents <laughs> or whatever. Um, but that is how I ship them off. And this is just an example. I actually have this one ready to ship. Of course, I'm covering the address. But I would just put this inside. And again, it fits pretty snugly. So it's in there, so you guys can see. When I close it up, um, it will close up pretty nicely. Again, it's not too big. I think it's just the right size. And I do include one thing inside as well. I have these little envelopes where um, inside I have a couple of my cards, just a couple of these, and in the back I, I always put my, or one of my coupon codes for, you know, the next purchase or whatever, if they want to repurchase something. So inside here I have a couple of cards, which fits pretty nicely, and I also um, always handwrite a little note. Uh, just something simple that says, you know, thank you for the purchase and also just like a little reminder so they can come back to my Etsy shop and leave some feedback. But yeah, I would put this in there so it just goes in with the, with the yarn. And then I would just close it up and mail it off. And I find that the, the shipping for these is pretty reasonable. And I also always use tracking for those. Um, the only ones I would not use tracking for is if they are uh, international because the tracking uh, expense really does go up if it's like an international package. Uh, but even so, um, if you are mailing out internationally, they do give you a customs number which you could use sort of as tracking while it's inside the US. Um, I don't believe it tracks if it's once it leaves the US, but uh, until then at least, you can track it somewhat. Now for my amigurumis, um, I do use a box of course. And this is an example box. I do reuse boxes when I can. And again, for example, this is just one I got, um, I got when I bought something from Amazon. This is a pretty nice size. 
Uh, my amigurumis are all not the same size, but for the most part, they are on the, on the smaller side. So, just an example, you guys can definitely reuse whatever you already have. I mean, no one's going to mind it. And just in case they do, I do have it uh, um, in my shop as well. I do say that I use uh, or I reuse or what is the word? I'll recycle when I can. So, everybody's aware. So, I just wrapped the box here. Uh, this is actually the size I use the most. It's a 6x6. Six so it's a nice square box. I don't have one set up with me here, but you guys know what a box looks like. <laughs> this one is just a really square box. And it's actually the perfect size for most of my amigurumis. Um, and how I ship those, um, I, do, I do like to ship them before, or I do like to put them in something else before I put them in a box, especially because depending how small it is, uh, sometimes I use again recycling i use um either um ads that i get in the mail or if i have newspaper handy i use that as well to kind of stuff it um so the item inside you know won't move around so much or won't make an you know like bounce around inside while it's shipping um not that's gonna break or anything because you guys know i make roomies are made from yarn and stuffing or fiber fill so it's not like uh, I'm scared the item will break because it will not, but I just to avoid all the noise. I know sometimes people are, I don't know, that they're scared if something makes noise or if it's moving around inside the box and <laughs> that kind of thing. So uh, before I actually put it inside the box, I like to wrap the items up. Uh, this is one of my favorite ways. I just use a clear plastic baggie and I tie it with a scrap piece of yarn. So it looks like that. And then that will nicely go inside the box with enough space, um, you know, not to be squished and all that. And, or I also have one other other way of doing it. And this actually came by, um, or I thought about this way, or I think I, I found this summer when I was having my first, um, my first craft, uh, craft sale. I, I forgot what, you, what the word is for that, but when I was selling in the uh, craft fair, there you go. And I just uh, stamped some stuff on a paper baggie and I would put the item inside. This is another, another example. And uh, both of these in the little page are available in my shop if you guys want to check them out. But yeah, I would take the item and I would put it inside, inside the paper bag. Let me just do that. So it is inside and then I would plug it up. Close it up like so, and in the back here, I would put a sticker. Again, back in the day when I was doing my first craft fair, craft fair, I printed these out. It just says thank you for shopping or for your purchase, and it has my website. So I would just take one of these and um, you know, put it in the back here and have it closed with that sticker. So that's also a nice way of doing it. Uh, so I would wrap the item up. I would put that in, in the box and of course I would not forget the little envelope with my cards in it. Again with a little note just saying thank you for the purchase. Um, I think that's pretty much all I'm doing now. I mean that's how I ship my items. And if it's uh, a bigger order, I know before I had an order of three pillows. Um, I think it was 14 by 14 pillows. So it was, you know, it wasn't that it was so heavy but it was I needed a large box for that and I mean it's the same concept I just put all the pillows inside and um, shipped it off <laughs> so that's about it guys hopefully you found this kind of helpful again when I was just starting I didn't really have much of an idea on how to ship my items so I just had to kind of figure it out in a way but if you guys have any other tips or if you guys want to show me how you ship your, your items uh, from your shops or tips in general uh, do let me know and uh, I look forward to hearing those. Bye.